we're talking about crazy fashion choices. So maybe you're into just wearing a specific color for your clothing, but there is somebody out there, a celebrity, who just announced that they are wearing a very unique fashion choice, and they did not have anybody know about this until now because they just spoke about it. So, Addison, I'm going to let you go first. Do you have anything that you wear or do that's unique fashion-wise? I take, I take after Adam Sandler when it comes <laughs> to the fashionable choices. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what I does love, that mean? I love wearing shorts with any other type of upper body wear so if it's winter and it's snowing you could see me out there with shorts but with a, like a winter coat on <laughs> is that really <laughs> unique though i feel like a lot of men do that uh, no 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 a lot of men who uh have dignity do that jamie it's not a lot of men that do that it's boys it's literally like <laughs> high school boys <laughs> tell me i'm wrong someone in this room tell me i'm wrong no you're not <laughs> I, know. I know i'm not also like if i'm going out to like a party or if i'm going out to like a public setting i do change it up a little bit i like to look a little, really i like to look a little uh snazzy over the top what is snazzy you'll see me in a nice shirt maybe some nice slacks i don't know maybe my good white shoes my boat shoes and shorts good white <laughs> shoes i really feel like putting white shoes on does not um when i'm in a track suit oh the white shoes are phenomenal absolutely fantastic <laughs> but that's a track suit you're wearing a track suit to a party these are well that depends what kind of party toga toga nah, then, nah, then i just wear a toga <laughs> track suits to the toga party i don't think mix <laughs> but no like uh, thanksgiving's a perfect holiday to wear a track suit i guess so why because you're gonna go run uh nine well, no, you need for nine hours you wanna, afterwards you, you want to wear something comfortable you want to yeah. look nice and then you know it can expand over the night yeah the yeah. rule of thumb is do not wear jeans on thanksgiving well that's what my whole family's wearing am i doing that no because i want to eat <laughs> yeah, so button, i'm gonna have buttons just fly off the wall <laughs> i actually <laughs> did anybody else go like clothing shopping right before uh, Thanksgiving yeah I did I, I went to Marshall's and I bought myself a nice dress I'm like debating on wearing that and then I also was debating on wearing some new shirts I don't know I have this habit of like whenever I buy a shirt I always want to wear it the next day I, so you kind of like here's the thing yes I've done a lot of shopping the last like week or two weeks now but that's mm-hmm. also because um, I finally went through my closet and got rid of all my plus size clothes and I needed clothes that actually fit me, like fit my body type right now. So I've had to like basically replace my entire wardrobe. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Which, I mean, that is a great feeling. Yeah, of course. And you can also <laughs> donate all those clothes. Oh yeah. It's exactly what I'm doing Saturday morning. I'm dropping off at a thrift shop that I can get my 15% off. That's so nice. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you donating like bags worth? Yeah. Like three black, huge garbage bags worth of clothes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot. That's kind of cool though. Mm-hmm. You can, there's a, there's a, um, thrift store that you could donate clothes to and get like a store percentage off. Yeah. There's one in, um, Baldwin. Okay, we're going to talk. Oh, we're going to talk. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great shop. And actually, the, the, I love them because the, when I was like plus size, they carried a lot of plus size stuff, actually. Yeah. I love That's it. cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's very rare for a thrift shop. But anyway, fashion choices, though. Yes. <laughs> I'll go next. So, I mean, I mean, I, I consider my hair a fashion choice as well, by the way, because it's always, like, you know, some sort of bright color. And, like right now, it's mm-hmm. literally half purple, half green. But okay, I'll take it. I mean, I kid you not, though, my entire, like, nine-tenths of my closet is literally just the color black. Like, there's no in-between. It's either, like, I have, like, dark black everything or, like, every color of the rainbow. That's, like, the 2% <laughs> of my closet. It's, like, everything rainbow. Otherwise, like, I lo- kid you not, like, black shoes, I'm wearing black jeans and a black long sleeve shirt. Like, just, you know... <laughs> I my, my my aesthetic is I'm always ready for a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> nice. it, but it's co- like all black. You you can never really go wrong with it. Mm-hmm. So exactly. yeah, unless it's like off black and then it's like it doesn't match. And it's like yeah, Ew. then it's like mm-hmm. yeah. I hate that. But like you know like you know black like you know that's my that's my I'm always ready for a funeral and it's my aesthetic. <laughs> I understand. I always have some form of black, whether it's like my eye makeup or it's like my shoes or my pants. But, like, everyone, I used to get asked all the time, they're like, oh, are you going somewhere afterwards? And I'm like, yeah, to my bed. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Well, again, like, my aesthetic, too, like I just said, like, there's no machines either, like, all black or, like, some, like, rainbow, whatever. Like, I have pink eyeshadow on right now. Like, pink, glittery eyeshadow. My <laughs> socks are always colorful. My socks are the one thing that's always colorful, never really black. And if they are black, they always have something on it. But nobody sees my socks. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's kind of a hidden thing. I love the yellow. Yeah, the, the hair I'm color. wearing Nassau socks right now, actually. No. <laughs> what, did you get that at like, the bookstore? No, I got them actually from like some fairs that we had here. Like Ooh. There used to be like some fairs every once in a while, and they just gave out free socks, and I'm like, I have a sock addiction. I know mm-hmm. I know you have a sock addiction. You show me your sock yeah. collection. Like, remember, remember the one, we did Sa- Secret Santa one year amongst our friends, and whoever had you like just knew, like, okay, we got to get Jamie socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, they, 
I don't even remember who that was. Yeah, yet. it was Lisa. Oh, my yeah, I was about to say yeah. it was Lisa. Yeah, yeah. She knew you very well and got you socks. Oh my god, I love her socks so much. But yeah, it's it's bad. I have a whole drawer, and now because I have so many socks, they're going into my underwear drawer because I can't fit them all in. You need a plastic mm-hmm. drawer, ju- like a dresser set, just for your socks. Yeah, it's it's really bad, and some <laughs> I, and they need to match. I don't know if you like the mismatching socks. Oh no, no. I can't do that. I hate no. matching socks. Mismatch every day. I don't. I don't. No. They no, have, who's no. gonna see it? I, me, I, I'm um, no. I'm I like, need Gina, to know, Gina. I'm not taking off my shoes and showing you my feet right now. Like, so <laughs> I, I, I know clearly you must like the feet, but no, I'm not. Anything about that. I like to know that I'm wearing the same sock. So if I'm wearing a Nassau sock, the other one has to be a matching in the color and everything. Thank you. Like I have these Nike socks, and they're the ones that like the dry fit, the ones that say left or right, so you know which like foot to put on, put them on. Like I have to wear matching you guys socks. Like, you guys like feet, don't you? <laughs> no, I just like to know that my feet are in good hands. If Exactly. I, if I have the same sock and one's in better condition or the other, I have to find the other same sock in the same condition. Exactly. As the other one. Like oh if mine is, is like the the black is kind of turning into like navy yeah. blue. Nah, you got to be matched up with another navy blue sock that's mm-hmm. dying. Here's the thing. Yeah. Yesterday I just wore one rainbow sock and the other one was like a Gretzky with like the day no. and the wrong day the week. Was like I have I have a Gretzky socks that have like the days of the week on them. I'm pretty sure I wore a Monday sock yesterday. That's no. criminal. No. Who cares? No one's gonna see it. I care. I do. I am not showing you my feet. (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to go next because you guys are being crazy right now with your sock (laughs) things. Listen, I love socks, but don't do that to them. Mm -hmm. So as a kid, once again, another tragic story. I was bullied, of course. I mean, I think I was bullied the most out of everybody, it seems like. But uh, yeah, I was bullied by Christmas. So a secret is that I'm dressing up as the Grinch this year. Not really a secret. Now it is. Um, (laughs) Well, no, now it's out of the box. But... I was bullied as a kid for wearing sweatpants too much. What? I used to wear sweats all the time. I know you probably don't think of me as that, but I used to wear sweats all the time. I would wear a sweatshirt and then like the sweatpants. <laughs> I had like an outfit that would come together. And um, I loved this one outfit so much as a kid. And on the shirt it says, I want to be a superstar. And I remember, I was in elementary school, and one kid would come up to me, and he would sing it to me. He'd be like, I want to be a superstar. I'll never forget that. And I was just like, okay, Steven, just like, I, I just like the shirt. But I love the shirt, and every time he saw it, he would sing it to me. And yeah. I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, you know, superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was liking it. It was a pink, like, sweat outfit. And then one day at lunch, this girl comes up to me, and she goes, do you have anything else in your drawer? Like, do you wear anything else? Nah, Jamie, nah, Jamie, why you ain't check them kids? Why you ain't check them kids, Jamie? Ain't no way. And I just kind of sat there and I was just like, um, she's like, you just wear the same thing every day. Do you even wash it? And I was like, do you wash you? Like, no, nah, who's she talking to? I, who's she talking to? That happened to me too, though, actually. I only wore exclusively sweatpants and stuff like in, in middle school because I just didn't like jeans. Mm hmm. And I actually had someone ask me, like, do you look like you wash that every day. Like, do, do you? And it's like, I, I yeah. actually had a few of the same sweatshirt because I loved it that much. I'm going to need to talk to them. I'm, yeah, I got I'm so upset. Cool. No, I, I was guess. upset because I just I just genuinely liked that outfit. Well, yeah. Like, I just liked the wearing the sweatpants just because they were comfy. You could go to gym in them. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do anything. And it was always comfy on the inside because they were always, like, having that extra, like, what is that called on the inside? Like, a Sherpa feeling. I mm-hmm. like that. So I didn't think anything was wrong with it, but as soon as she said that, I buried my sweatpants. I never wanted to wear sweatpants again. (laughs) Nah, Jamie, you better. I wanted to cry every time I saw sweatpants. It was so bad. My mom was like, "What the hell? Put them on!" And I was like, (laughs) "No, no, Miranda's gonna see it and she's gonna yell at me and she's gonna look at me." And I was like, "I don't want to wear them again." Well, man, screw Miranda. Were they the same sweatpants though? Every Uh, every outfit. No, I had other ones, but I think I really liked that one, so I wore it more often. You know, it's like when you really like something, so you just use it over and over. It was like that. So then when I remember we had to go on a trip, and they're like, you should definitely wear sweatpants on the trip because you have to make sure that no ticks get on you. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, Miranda's going to say something to me. She's going to look at me. And my mom's like, don't worry about Miranda. She gets all her clothes from donations. And I was like, dang. Did she? (laughs) Yes, she did. Oh, okay. 
So why is she making fun of you? Exactly. Yo. Your advantage. If you knew, oh, I, I did knew. not know that. My uh, mom knew that. Wait. Why did you? Why ain't you talk trash back to them kids? Ain't no way. Not, uh-huh. that, I, not that I encourage it's, bullying back to someone, but like, where where, where does she have the audacity? Oh. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. She, she, I thought we were good friends. I went out to a KFC with her grandpa. I mean, like, not like not like on a date, but like we went all three <laughs> of us. Man, you don't want to clarify that. Hey, you know, I just said her and her like me and her grandpa. I had to clarify she was there too. <laughs> don't you wish you had the same mind like knowledge you have now back then oh if kids started ripping on me in I think I would school, take her and punt her across the room if a kid like made fun of my shirt like wow Addison look you're wearing that stupid shirt again really Billy is that why mommy's in rehab again thank you <laughs> thank you Addison <laughs> thank you oh, no no you're not no, about to yeah. talk to me like that and I'm and, about to cry like ain't no way I had no confidence when I was a kid that's why yeah. I got bullied so much so if I had the level of confidence then that I do now yeah it'd be a whole different ballpark of like what would have happened honestly See, like, mine, about to punk me. but mine wasn't that. about like confidence mine was just I didn't know what to say like I didn't I genuinely had no idea what to say I was just like what am I supposed to say I just like the shirt like obviously it's just gonna make it worse so I just kind of stood there and just took it Nah, like you, like y'all said, kids with me, like they used to try to pick on me because of my side. Talk about you fat. All right, I'm fat. Your mama fat. Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? Nah, nah, nah. You, nah, you can, nah, you certain people, you can, because if you allow them to, to think they have any type of leeway when it comes to that, they're going to continue to do that. Yeah. You oh, got to yeah. shut that down real I, quick. I, 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 agree with, I agree with that because <laughs> I had the same bully from, I kid you not, sixth grade through to college. College. Like entering NASA Community College, he actually really tried to bu- keep bullying me, and I was like, "Aren't we over this by now?" Like, I'm at that point, I was done and fed up, and, and told him, "Like, cut it out. I'm done." Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't. I never had anybody bully me outside of like middle school. I mean, even in middle school too. I mean, I had my hair really short, and I looked a lot tanner, so I looked more um, like I guess people would mistaken that I would speak Spanish because I looked more like I guess I was of a Mexican descent or, or along the lines of that and I had the glasses and the braces and everyone would call me Ugly Betty do you guys remember that oh show? my I god that show. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> a, that's oh, a terrible show oh my what, god what school did you go to? Uh, this was actually at camp. Okay. I went to a camp. At least these people are creative. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I, oh, yeah. I remember. I actually remember that show, and I had to Google who she looks like, and I remember crying because I actually looked just like her. I have a photo where it's spot on, and <laughs> but it's I, BS because America Ferrera is a beautiful woman. I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. saying no, but she dressed the part, and I know, unfortunately, I, I could have been hired. I, it was that oh, close. Baby. Listen. Mm-hmm. You Is think it, I'm kidding? No, I, I swear to God, I don't think you're kidding. I just I, I, I could have played that part, Christina. Oh if she really, if they really looked at me and her, they would have been like, "You sold." Well, it's a well, terrible show. J- that's all I'm saying. What was we're in the age of reboots and remakes? <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, that's what was going on with my fashion choices back then. But yeah, <laughs> yeah so sweatpants is a no for me. Um, what was the what what we did we wear that we like kind of don't wear anymore? Was that the question? Oh no, the question is just like, what are your unique fashion choices that you I, make? I'm a sweatpants person. Like as y'all can see. I got sweatpants on today, so yeah. That no, just tell Mar- t- her name's Miranda, right? Tell her she need to step. She need to, because in a way, if you don't like sweatpants, you're the problem. Yeah. yeah, but um, <laughs> I used to wear suspenders. Like, I'm looking for this my, photo really? of me as yeah. uh, I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to put it on uh, the ninety point three Instagram, and you guys can <laughs> vote. Uh, who makes it better, um, Ugly Betty? <laughs> yeah, but my my, my fashion <laughs> choice that I had to I had to retire back in my little you know like pre pre gay days was the um. You say pre gay days? Not pre, but like baby. I like to say baby gay. Oh, <laughs> baby, baby, gay. baby gay days. Yeah, the bow tie and suspenders combo atrocious. <laughs> it's atrocious. Okay, no. I have to ask like, what what year was it? Like what era are we talking about? Like twenty not twenty. I was what eighth grade. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you I look like see. ugly Betty. I hate you. Stop it. Like 2016, 2017. So middle school, I was in like seventh, eighth grade. So yeah. like homecomings, I would wear the bow tie and suspenders combo. I mean, that was the trend back then. Though it's I true, will say that. But much. I let my mama pick me, pick them out for me, oh. and wonder what, wonder why I wasn't getting no play. So, oh. damn. So, yeah, no, no offense, mom, but uh, yeah, they they weren't going for it. <laughs> I remember. Did your bow tie spin? <laughs> that, uh, now that would have been cooler. No, I wish though. That definitely should have. I had the fidget spinner though, so it kind of yeah, makes up for it. Put it on there. Let's put it on. Oh, sh- sh- little twirl. I swear, I don't look any different from ugly, from ugly Betty, and that just makes me really upset. Nah, well, you, the braces uh, are off. You have really good teeth, so. No, nah, Jamie, you look a lot uh, different from Ugly Betty era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I think I've definitely though. grown. That was me when I was like 13, 12, 13. We all, were you the same height? 
Your smile doesn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You have a, you have a, a more natural smile now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. then, it was definitely forced because they were literally pulling my teeth. Uh, the, so. the, the, no. sound, the sound effect that goes with Jamie's smile in that is like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's the sound My effect. thing is, if you didn't look awkward at thirteen, then clearly you peaked in high school. Yeah, I, I, guess. Like, I was. I was a little like I, don't know, I was full of testosterone. I had a shirt that said "More weights, more dates" on it. Oh and God! And it, said, God. And it said "Get out of my ozone." On the <laughs> Addison, <laughs> it sounds like you were a tool. <laughs> I, I was a, that was my my friend was a wrestler. That was a shirt, so I would just wear that. I'm like, yeah, oh more my, you're weights, ridiculous. More weights. But no, Jamie, you 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 glow. Like you should be you should be proud of yourself. You had a glow up. You your braces are off now, so like your teeth are like like very straight. Thank so, you, um, thank you. I went to the dentist the other day, and they're like, oh my god, they're perfect. And I was like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> just do the cleaning, okay? I want to go home and eat food. And they're like, oh my god, this is one of the best set of teeth I've ever looked at. And I was like, I just want to go home. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about the fashion choices because Sean had to tell me that this was... Let me let me double check on whose daughter this is just because I want to make sure I'm getting the name correct here. Like well-known? It's a well-known... Art, uh, not artist, but it's a well-known celebrity okay. because I was shocked too at this because I was just like, whoa. I would never would have guessed this. Shot the person or the fashion choice. This is George W. Bush's daughter. Okay, is she still alive? Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> Gina! my fault, my Gina! fault, my fault. I, I, <laughs> you said W, so I'm like, oh, I'm thinking like, oh dang, this was like 18 something. This man, um, Gina, just forget I said that last like. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to give you a history lesson off, <laughs> off there. No, I just had a brain fart. Gina, I know, I know. <laughs> this was published a few days ago. Okay, so she is she's um, alive. And she's well. well and breathing, and she's not 80 years old. No. So that's great. Great. Okay. <laughs> so, her name is Jenna Bush Hager, and she oh. reveals that she never wears underwear. Excuse me. Hey. And she says, "I'm sure my mom has never been more proud. I don't even understand why she does this. <gasps> um, why would Mama well, be proud? Well, I mean, their last name may speak more louder than its actual mm-hmm. word. You gotta oh. let that hoo-ha breathe. See, I ain't no, mad at her. Excuse <laughs> me? What'd you just say? You gotta say. let that hoo-ha breathe. I ain't mad at her. She <laughs> says here, I just think it makes more pretty silhouette. I don't even know what the hell that means. Yeah, me neither. Uh, says, <laughs> Yo, what if she has a Marilyn Monroe moment? And then <laughs> she said, and then she <laughs> says here, um, someone says, do you wash your clothes? She goes, yes, I do, but it's also like I'm not sharing jeans with you. I don't understand. Like, what are you doing? Like, um... She's like, I'm sure my mom has never been more proud, and she's <laughs> defending it. Why? She, she why? Let that thing breathe. Why are you mad at her? But I'd like to know why her mother be proud. <laughs> she's just trying to get some wind down there. What's my, wrong? Hey, yo, mama, I'm saving money on pet from not buying panties. <laughs> well, oh, my well, gosh. Well, uh, my daughter and my wife, they like the air out. You know? <laughs> yeah. My yeah. gosh. See, well, to me, I think that's disgusting because there's obviously more times during the month than others <laughs> where you're obviously going to have a little more uh, fluids oh, down there. Oh, I forgot. There. See, now that's a problem. But See, hey, if she don't smell like SeaWorld, then it's cool. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> if she, I feel like if she don't smell like SeaWorld, <laughs> it's cool. See, like, <laughs> I, I think the biggest thing is, like, like, you know, certain times, it's just more, I guess it is more like a water park than others. And it's like, <laughs> dude, what you, like, how are you, like, Splash. what's, like, what's absorbing? Doesn't that show right through the pants? Like, what's going on? Like, I think that's disgusting. What if you didn't know that your time was coming and now you have a big blob on your pants and it's even more known, it's more accentuated than ever because you're not wearing anything to defend it, you know? Oh, well. Like, that sounds real moist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think this sounds disgusting. You <laughs> see, on a ranch, so like I don't know. They're used to get. She's on the Today Show. Well, from oh. a ranch to the Today Show. I'm exactly. telling you right now, on the Today <laughs> Show today, <laughs> she needs to do something. If we could, if you could buy her underwear, what kind of underwear would you buy her? Granny panties. Thank you. <laughs> no cotton. You guys don't care about women cotton underwear. No. I don't care if she no. can wear. Are you know what? Are American they? Eagle. Yeah. You know what I would do because she can't. Uh, she's not. She's not with everybody else on the same page as wearing underwear. I would give her. Um, what is that stuff that you're not supposed to wear? An you know what? Diaper. Why don't we just get her uh, the string candy the string underwear? Candy. A string, Ew, why don't we just get her string candy thong? And I think she would have more fun with that than anything else. Well, I it's need, edible. Sweet tarts. I need Ew. It.